okay this is a 3 kva or 2 kva mks vouch uh, whether it's mks or mks plus it doesn't matter but just know that this is a 2 kva board for chinese inverter and this is a uh, from one of the voltronic systems yeah so to start with i'm going to start with the converter the boost converter i'm going to introduce everything about it into to you we need here is where you have the boost converter what you have here is the the thermal sensor the mt series system this is your polarity check or if you like or call it polarity protection what you have here is your two set of push pull set of trans system then that's an internal fit internal MOSFET and these are a pair of uh, transistor for the switching stage he has a small driver chip here i don't know if you can see that clearly but there's a driver chip there and here is the main driver ic the pwm ic that controls these guys what you have here is a uh, a voltage uh, converter that will take in your 24 volts and convert it to 15 volts and 5 volts we'll first take it to 15 volts and this we're gonna is gonna step it down this is a, a linear regulator it's gonna step it down to 5 volts which will be used by this microcontroller so you have a bunch of uh, up to oh uh, what do you do? you have a bunch of up arms here and you have this up to couplers that is gonna interface this circuitry to this microcontroller and also interface the state of the switch to this microcontroller so this switch here this is for the solar science to tell the state of the solar and this is to tell the state of the switch what you have here are the, these two bars are inputs this is the negative from the charger section this is the input from the battery you can see these capacitors here the filter capacitors you can see the bar here that's connected to this place so this is the high frequency ferrite core transformer that is used to boost the voltage and then supply it to an output converter here that will convert the dc to ac what happens is that when this push pull setup is driven it's going to take the input voltage from here pass it into this transformer and produce a clean dc 200 or 320 volt which is going to be stored in this capacitors this capacitors is therefore going to supply that voltage to this set of rgbt's here this is a uh, an isolator that is going to isolate this rgbt stage the driving stage and uh, this ic the microcontroller is going to generate a, an SPWM that is going to be used to drive this. Yeah. So now, before you can have that uh, clean DC, there are some bunch of uh, some bunch of uh, diodes. You can see where you have those white things, these white guys there inside. Yeah. There are those are diodes they will be the one to rectify that output from this transformer into these capacitors 
this is still another female sensor yeah ntc resistor it will send signal to this to be able to tell you the state of this uh, heat sink is it too hot or is it too cold so over here like i said is the charging section the input from this input will come in here ac input get fuel type over here and then get transferred to this capacitor and then to this bridge rectifier yeah, you know and then there's a driver ic here uc3842 or 3843 is here that's gonna drive some set of okay sorry about that little interruption we're gonna drive some set of uh, MOSFETs in there. You can see the three black guys. <laughs> Sorry, I can't get them closer enough. Okay, these three that you just saw there is going to be driven, and then that power will get supplied to this. That power will get supplied to this young man. And then uh, the art will pass through this capacitor, this capacitor, and this is going to be the negative, which is going to come here. In this case, it's going to come here. And then, it's going to come there. So the output is going to be supplied to this. Do not do make any mistake not to connect this while testing this board whether externally or internally because if you do that this capacitor is going to bust out and if it busts out the transistors they will spoil these white ones are diodes that is going to rectify the output from this transformer and send it through this cable to this negative and to this positive to charge the battery so Going by default, there are very common faults with this particular guy. An example of a, a common fault is a dead set. If you have this guy hot when battery is connected, in such scenario you will not see any display on your screen. The inverter won't boost any noise. Nothing will happen, but this guy will just get hot. This guy is dead. If this guy doesn't get hot and this one does not get hot, please check whether there is 5 volts here. If there is no 5 volts, check this section. This is likely the cause of that dead situation. This can get damaged in some cases. You replace it and fix it. Or this can get damaged. You check this. You check this guy. There is a little black resistor there. You check it to confirm that they are all okay. And uh, that's just that about dead set. If it's dead, if you have a dead set with this unit, check this. Check this section. Make sure there's 5 volts here. That's all. If you have error 06, 06 is caused by burnt in this section. Or if likely this guy is shorted and if this is shorted you should check here you should check here check there to confirm that there is okay i think the lighting is better check here check this resistor to confirm that it's not blown if it is blown please replace it and also replace this capacitor the o6 should go if the o6 persists please replace this Replace all the resistors and the resistors that are lined here after these two isolators, transformers. The resistors and the diodes that are lined up there, you can see. I believe you can see it clearly now. You can see them, they are very tiny. This is it. This is TO8. Yeah, you can see the shadow of where I'm pointing at them. Replace them and also replace the RGBTs. This four RGBT here. Replace them. Once that's done, the case is supposed to go. It will go. Yeah, I'm, I'm very certain about that. It's something I've been doing. 
so once that is done it will go 06 is done. 05 is also caused by this guy if one of them is open any of those IGBT is open or is not being driven or the component that's supposed to supply power to the gate is bad it's gonna trigger that error 05 if you see error 09 it's likely that this side is not working properly so the transformer voltage is not stable that's why you see error 09 um i think that's enough for today next day i will talk about faults that are associated with uh, the charging section thank you